Today, I'm going to show you six deep seek hacks that can maximize your productivity using the newest and greatest viral large language model. You're going to want to go to chat.deepseek.com and have DeepThink R1 enabled. So the first little hack I'm going to show you is that DeepSeek has the ability to run apps locally on DeepSeek itself. So our prompt here is to create a tool that generates hashtags based on keywords that I give it for a YouTube video. It should do trending hashtags. I want it to be able to run right here, so use HTML. So DeepSeek has the ability to run HTML code built in natively and it can still use its own large language model to generate content. So you can actually create little apps that run locally on DeepSeek that are fully functional and extremely useful to automate tasks for you. Eventually it's going to return some HTML code so we can hit run HTML and now we have this YouTube hashtag generator so we can click in and we can type in deep seek hacks and tricks and we can hit generate hashtags and here they are. We have some hashtags. If we want to enhance this, we can say, hey, add a copy all button. So it took a while, but eventually it created a new version of it so we can try it out now so we can run it and we can try the same thing, but now we have this button that says copy all hashtags. So we can actually click it, and now all our hashtags have been copied over. So the next little deep sea hack I wanna show you is understanding how it thinks. So with this thinking model enabled, you're able to see exactly how it thinks about something. So in this case here, I said act as an investor with 50 years of experience, provide a comprehensive analysis of NVIDIA. This should include a thorough evaluation of the company's financial health, its competitive position in the industry, and any other micro macroeconomic factors that could potentially impact its performance. And it goes on to explain how it's gonna do over the next two years. Where this is really cool is, you can actually see exactly how it is thinking about NVIDIA. So it says, hey, as an investor with 50 years of experience, let me start by recalling what I know about the company. So it starts telling you, it tells you about its financial health, its competitive position, factor, validation, catalyst for growth, price targets, so on and so forth. This isn't just going to give you, hey, buy or sell, but it's giving you a breakdown as to how it's thinking about NVIDIA. So this is really cool because you're no longer just getting a final output, but you're actually seeing how like the absolute smartest human would think about this. Because think about DeepSeek as a really, really smart human that you have the ability to not only talk to, but understand its thinking, logic, and reason to help you make decisions. So you can use this little hack to help you make decisions and understand the logic behind the decision that DeepSeek is making. Simple little create an HTML JavaScript game like Space Invaders. So you can use DeepSeek to create games. You can play them directly on DeepSeek itself, or if you're feeling adventurous, you can tell it to use another programming language, and then you'd have to take the code, bring it over to your computer, install some packages and some libraries, and then run up and play the game. And then you can obviously go back and forth and it can help you code. It is a very good programmer. Uh, as a programmer myself, I can tell you from my firsthand experience, it is one of, if not the best programmer, large language model currently. So here is our one shot prompt of Space Invaders that is being made. We can move with the left and right arrow key and we can shoot with the space bar. We can run as HTML and here we are. We can move back and forth. We can shoot our red blocks. It has a little score system. So the next little hack I wanna show you is similar to hack number one where you can load and use DeepSeek to create little apps, but you can actually make it fairly advanced. So let me show you. Our prompt here is create an HTML JavaScript search box that will load and display search results similar to perplexity. I wanna be able to run it right here. So use HTML. So it thought, it thought for 14 seconds and it came back with this little search. And I said, hey, I ran it here, but there's no results. After a ton of back and forth, we're now able to ask it anything. So we can search what is AI and it will bring back artificial intelligence refers to a computer system that can perform tests typically requiring human intelligence. And it gives you a source. We can also ask it how to make coffee and it will tell you how to make coffee. So basically we use DeepSeek to create a perplexity like 
search application that runs directly on DeepSeek itself. The next little hack I'm going to show you is just a fun one. So we have this prompt here. I want you to act as a game master for a text-based Pokemon adventure. We'll start from the very beginning of a classic Pokemon journey. You're going to guide me through the game with some immersive storytelling. Keep each scene description within 400 words to maintain a good pace. After each scene, present me with four clear options for what to do next. So it is thinking and it's going to create a world and it's going to create a story that we can play. So scene one, a humble beginning, it actually bolts words for us as we're playing and it tells us what is going on. So there are three Pokeballs sitting on a lab table and we have to press a button to release the Pokemon. So what do we do? Which one do we take? So we can take Charmander, Squirtle, Bulbasaur, or ask the professor for advice and what is your option let me know in the comments below but we're going to go with one and now we're just playing a text-based adventure game kind of fun the last deep seek hack i'm going to show you is deep seek's insane writing ability so we have here our prompt write a book about ai taking over the world create a table of contents chapter titles and what the content should be for each chapter so you can actually see it thinking saying hey for the first title it's going to outline the possible chapters for chapter one, so on and so forth. It's coming up with chapter two, four, seven. It's thinking ahead. It's coming up with a full story from chapter one all the way through chapter seven, all at the start because it's able to actually think. So here is our table of contents and here is our information for each chapter. We can further prompt this and say, hey, I want you to write the actual content for each chapter it has a very good context window and a very good memory for writing. That is six really cool hacks that you can start using today on DeepSeek to enhance your experience and to get the most out of the most popular viral large language model at this given moment. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, drop a comment down below, let me know what you're using DeepSeek for, and don't forget to subscribe for the latest and greatest AI content. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one. Future, open the doors, ideas and inspiration, just one click, our site's the magic, it's really that quick. AI tools, AI news, AI prompts you can use, it's all for free, just come and see, at FranklinA.com, where you're meant to be.